Hello and welcome to Let Me Bore You to Sleep. My name is Jason Newland. Please only listen to this when you can safely close your eyes. So, just let you know you can gain access to these recordings, this podcast, on lots of different podcast hosts, such as Spotify, iTunes, Apple Podcast, Spreaker, which is where it lives, that's the home, Um, Stitcher, TuneIn, iHeartRadio, CastBox. I can't think of any others, but yeah, it's loads, loads of more as well. Um, Podbean, and also just to let you know that there are, I do have other podcasts as well. Yep, this is another advert on top of the adverts that you may have heard at the beginning. But these are just to let you know. I've got uh, about thirty-three podcasts on like separate different podcasts on Spreaker and uh, (sighs) as well as these regular Let Me Bore You to Sleep recordings I also do deep sleep whisper hypnosis recordings pretty much daily at the moment Um, also got a hypnosis or sleep hypnosis weekly sessions that I do and I do one new one every Friday I've just uh, recorded one for over an hour I was um, it lasted so it was about six about 70 minutes um, and I've got yeah so I've got a few sleep sessions sleep podcasts so my intention is to try and do one every day but I feel a bit rough today, so I'm not. My voice is a little bit croakier than normal, and I might have to have a couple of days off, or I don't know. We'll see. I'm not too worried. <sighs> I don't even know what number this is. It's 130 something. So if I don't make a recording for a few days, there's plenty to choose from. Um, You could say, yeah, but it's boring listening to stuff, you know, that I've already heard. It's supposed to be boring. It's supposed to be. That's the point. Kind of. went out today and I didn't go into town but I walked up to the shops one of my neighbours knocked on my door while I was watching a movie it was afternoon and I needed to go and get some uh, cat food for Andre because He's now getting through two packs a day. And normally he has one pack a day. And he's just... He's got a, you know, hunger and... He's had two walks as well. Took him for a big long walk. And then he went for a a shorter walk this evening. Which again, I think, made him hungry. Plus, I gave him some of my dinner as well, just a little bit. So he's, uh, I don't think he's got worms. Which is the first thing you think, isn't it, I suppose, if if your child is hungry. 
Not the child must have worms. But he's uh, he seems happy enough. But I think I'm going to have an early night tonight. Although it's quarter to one in the morning. So it won't be early, early. But it will be early. <sighs> Technically, it's early in the morning. All this yawning is making my eyes water. Oh. I don't know how much sleep I got last night. I'm not sure. I said that like someone just asked me the question, didn't I? I don't know. I don't know how much sleep I got. What I meant to say is, I don't know how much sleep I got last night. More of a statement, but came out as an answer. I find it weird sometimes when I'm talking and the volume changes. And I don't mean it to. I just like talking. I'm not going to give a demonstration here, but it's like suddenly, I'm like, not shouting, but. I don't know, as if I was trying to talk in a helicopter, that kind of level. And one of my favourite things to do when I was in a nightclub, uh, or at a disco when I was younger, a lot of things happened when I was younger. Oh, everything, in fact. And I was at this... What, one, of my, one of my favourite things was to wait till the music stopped and then shout out the end of some pretend conversation. Um, you know, just... I'm trying to think of an example, but, you know, let's say there's uh, music. What is it? Disco is a, is a dancer. Do, 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 dancer. Ooh. Or, I don't know, whatever the music was at that time. And uh, then the music would stop and I'd shout out. And she'd never seen. She and she said she'd never seen anyone that big before. And it's just something silly like that. And uh, I couldn't help myself. I just, it's just it's the silliness in it. Another thing I used to like to do, and I did it with. Uh, I don't know, he did it with a few females like when I was dancing with them in the past, you know. I'd be listening to a song and I'd be dancing, not um, like slow dancing, although I've never, I don't really do anything fast. Well, one thing, but it doesn't matter because I'm okay. I got what I wanted. <laughs> You know what? I used to be really considerate. When I was younger, I was so considerate when it came to intimacy with a girlfriend or whatever. And, you know, there's pretty much nothing I wouldn't do to... Um, Please her to keep you know, to keep keep her happy. I mean, well, maybe not outside of the bedroom, but inside of the bedroom. I mean, I clearly, yeah, outside. I wasn't always the best boyfriend. I don't. Yeah, I'd love to say I was the best boyfriend, but hey, if I was the best boyfriend, I'd have a girlfriend, wouldn't I? 
and I'd have a relationship that lasted more than three hours and I used to really really put a lot of effort in and then I got to the age of yeah probably 30 maybe 29 and my effort level went down by about 80% I just didn't didn't just for some reason I don't know I just didn't 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 want to put any more effort in and I don't understand why that's weird isn't it I just became lazy I just became a bit lazy and I just became slow at everything you know as I am with everything else and I just didn't or maybe it became reverse with that So I, just, I tell you what it was. It was there was a line for a comedian called Sam Kinison, and uh, oh, this is turned into. I don't want this to turn into a an adult version of a Let Me Boy You to Sleep. So I'm not, but I'm just saying he said something about. Oh, I can't say it, but anyway, I kind of. Even though he was uh, a comedian, I took I took that on board, and it worked out quite well for me. Um, so basically, it basically put the other person first. Um, yeah, if that makes sense. But as I said, that stopped when I hit thirty, and I started putting myself first, and then. I hit 40 and I started just not putting anyone first. I just. I just. Yeah. I can't even remember what it's like to have a girlfriend. What is, what is it like? It was. Uh, The last girlfriend I had, like dating, like regular dating, although, yeah, she was from, where was she from? Romania. So there was a bit of a language barrier. Um, I mean, she was brilliant English. There was some... I guess there was some culture differences and there was because I'm pretty much just a verbal person she you know she wasn't able to or didn't want to elaborate on some of the things that she was saying you know it's like okay so this happened I mean she, it's weird it was at dinner and she said, oh, I had a... She said that she'd been ill when she was younger. And I said, okay, go on then. Well, not go on, like, challenging her. I don't believe you. But I said, well, okay. And I, I was interested. And But she would, that was it. She wouldn't tell me anything else. I was like, what, is it herpes? Is it, you know, just... And that bugged me a little bit because I'm really interested in what other people say. So when it's not weird how the word really and rarely sounds so similar. Yeah, so far apart <laughs> in meaning. Oh, we was in this rest not really a restaurant it was like a Frankie and Benny thing like an American style uh, eatery thing and it was you know nice food in there 
and I've been in there a few times with different people but we went in there with her and what was weird is there was another female on a different table that I couldn't I just I wanted to look at her and I don't know why she just had see I don't I'm not into tattoos at all but she was covered in tattoos and I was just somehow kind of mesmerised by her and not I'm not even into tattoos I've got one tattoo and I told people it's a birthmark I said you got a birthmark in the shape of a flag I said no but I think it's not a flag it's a dragon but when I was uh, worked in a nightclub and I'd wear short sleeve shirts and stuff and I was quite slim at that time so I could get away with wearing shirts and t-shirts and stuff and the it's weird though you know because back then I was I felt that I was too skinny and I'd wear a t-shirt and I'd try and I wouldn't touch I wouldn't tuck the t-shirt into my trousers because then everyone could see how slim I was and I didn't want that so I would have it loose in the hope that people would think that the air the space between my belly and the t-shirt which would sometimes be a few inches was actually my stomach but now it's the opposite you know I just I'm hoping that people think that it's just really windy underneath my t-shirt and that's why it's bulging out. But it isn't. It is really my belly. Mind you, I joined the gym. Still only been once. But I think I'm going to try and go Maybe the weekend. I just need to, need to get myself some boxing gloves. Because the gloves they've got there are not very good. So I need to... Oh, look at this. I'm watching telly. I'm not really watching it. But it's it's on... Vi not on vibrate. It's on... Um, not a telly, anyway. It's, it's on mute. And they're just showing this vibrating uh, board and you stand on it and apparently it burns fat wow it's called power fit 8 week challenge she lost 4.8 kilos 4.8 kilos that's quite a lot isn't it I think 4.8 kilos no, it's not that much, is it? I can lose a kilo going to the toilet. I actually was, I'm 100 kilos. I was 101. Then I went down to 100. The last time I was at 99. And I don't think I really look that much different from when I was 91. Um, 101 so 2 kilos I'm not sure if it's really that much I don't know maybe maybe it is maybe like is 2 kilos not much but then you say ok well let me drop a 2 kilo weight on your toes and you let me know if it's a lot or not a one kilo bag of sugar that's a big bag of sugar isn't it it's two kilos and a bag of sugar is quite heavy I don't mean that I can't lift it 
but it's you know it's not it's heavier than a smaller bag this is really weird because they're showing this vibrate thing and they're also showing it in slow motion isn't it interesting now the only people they show are slim people they've got all these slim good looking people on this thing mind you one of them's got wobbly armpits but then everything's wobbling oh no they have got a they just showed us yeah um wow so I'm just looking at something there I think it would be a bit disturbing for the neighbours though to have something vibrating like that imagine what the neighbour would think you know, the whole ceiling vibrating oh he clearly got the butt plugs arrived then vibrating butt plugs like what I'd never buy anything like that and if I did I'd return it get my money back it's not what I thought it'd be what did you think it was going to be mind you I suppose if it if you don't like the feel of it you could use it to whisk up m milk and stuff couldn't you make cakes because pretty much like a whisk isn't it you have to clean it first of course oh uh, yeah that's the thing isn't it oh you can put it underneath the chair that's quite good isn't it so you burn fat lose weight improve your muscle and other things so I didn't have time to read those out attention S rated for slim sexy body S rated like a movie slim strong sexy body it's an oscillation system it was quite funny actually because it got like this older man and he was bending over with his like, forearms on the machine and his left hand was on there but his right hand was wobbling around it looked like he was masturbating in a visible squirrel now they've got oh now they're showing black and white footage of people using doing old fashioned exercise like running or weights to make out that it's that's ancient because put it in black and white oh now that same bloke that was doing the squirrel was back on there it was he seems to be enjoying it too much and it's got a built-in computer 99 speed levels wow and that's what you got to do and you end up with a six pack perfect body I wonder how much it is and I've gone back to the black and white like dieting and working in a gym and you know, that's no good. You've got to use Kickstarter and PowerFit. It's about five foot tall. I can't believe what they did there. They showed an Amazon. Yeah. A screenshot of an Amazon page. Because they're charging £299.99 for this. Plus eight pound ninety five delivery. Oh no, free free delivery in the UK. And two ninety nine ninety nine. 
they showed a screenshot of an Amazon page listing, I don't know if it was that or a similar product, for £3,900. Okay. You can find stuff on Amazon that costs thousands of pounds. You can find a book that you can buy for 99 pence. And you can also find, if you keep searching for the same book, you can find another seller selling it for £700. It doesn't mean that that's the normal price for it. You know? Buy this book for just £98. It would cost you £700 on Amazon. Or 99 pence if you went elsewhere to a different page on Amazon. 4.8 kilos, that's the 8 white. That's how much. I keep repeating it though, because I'm seeing it without the sound. Oh, that was good. They showed it. Oh. Black and white again, jogging, weightlifting, falling off a ball, holding a belly, trying to eat healthy food. Now it's colour and it's slim in bright colours with muscles. Now that's hypnosis. That, my friends, is proper you know, using all the techniques or the getting the emotions going, getting the because it happened to me the other day, it was watching it off. I do like her. Oh, okay, I'll move on. Um I was watching a late night this programme now. I'll be honest with you, sometimes I watch it and I just I can't take my eyes off it. It's hypnotic. Eight week challenge, she lost 7% of her fat. And she can now do activities with her children. It makes a difference, she said. Eight week challenge, tighter, firmer waistline. Three minutes a day. And an eating program, or oh, they put that in small layers. Power fit. Oh, they got a woman just sitting on there, doing nothing but just sitting. As if, would that, I don't know if that would do, would that do it if you just sat on it? You might as well just sit on a washing machine or a tumble dryer. That would kind of do the same thing really, wouldn't it? I've heard some people enjoy sitting on a tumble dryer. Oh, they've got one, now they're saying you can add things like these stretchy things that you can do pull-ups with. So you can exercise your arms at the same time. Involuntary muscle contractions. Well, yeah, people take tablets not to have that stuff, don't they? The thing is, I go before and after pictures, and she looked fine before. I can't really see much of a difference. She looked, you know, it burns fat, toned muscles, improves balance, increases density or destiny, something. Oh, he's back again, he's happy, he's smiling. And you can move your legs apart as well on it. So it, and they've got bits where they're just leaning on it. On, oh, they've got a picture of the fat, the fat and the muscle wobbling, and shows you how it, you know, burns it off. Full body system. And they've got a woman look like she was farting by a swimming pool, who's like bending down.
There's a lot of uh, shivering buttocks on this. Like men and women are just... It's very bright, vibrational. And you can get it from jmldirect.com, apparently. It looks quite good. Oh, they've got the man there, but he's... He does look slimmer afterwards. And then they've got like a man, really muscular man. So they're expanding, they're showing the same ones, but then they're, they're showing new people every now and then. I'm kind of thinking, we'll bring Kate back on, I want to see Kate again. Well, I don't want to see George, I want Kate. Not Bob, Kate. Okay, Tom can stay. But Kate, Kate and Tom, they're all right. Okay, Georgia. Georgia's fine. I used to know someone called Georgia. And I think she liked me. This is a long time ago. This is 2001. And... I was really shy. Oh, that's that bloke with a squirrel again. No, I was really shy. I really liked her, but I was... I don't know, I was shy and... Didn't want to take advantage of... And wanted to... Didn't want to lose her friendship, I suppose, because I liked her. Another one of my missed, many missed opportunities, I would say. Thing is, I'm a bit worried because bits of the bodies keep lighting up. I'm not sure if it's supposed to do that. You know, if I was sitting on the vibrator thing and my thighs or my belly started turning yellow. I mean, that's like that's your jaundice, isn't it? That's that's not natural. By the way, I'll just let you know, Andre's here. He's fast asleep. He's um, Andre. I can't believe it. I'm surprised he doesn't wake himself up doing that. He's uh, Andre. Shh, shh. He's a bit tired. Having a nice, nice sleep. He's halfway out of his bag. But I'll put him to bed um, when I've done this. It's quite a surprise that he's just laying there. He's not getting out and running around and climbing all over me and causing havoc. It's what he often does when I begin to make a recording. But he's been really good for some reason. I don't know why. My friend used to have a vibrating thing. And he... He used to put them around his arms. And around his chest. And it would vibrate. I think it was like trying to uh, create muscle or something. But he was muscular anyway, so I don't know quite why. And he had a physical job, so I don't know. Maybe, well, he had his own reasons, no doubt. But he's, uh, he liked sunbathing. Never understood, really. Well, I do kind of understand why people like sunbathing, because it does feel nice. You know, I mean, I've when I've done it, it's lovely having the sun on your face and your body. Although I don't normally have it on my body, but it's nice until it's not. So I remember once, right? I was in the garden. This is when I lived in the Buddhist community, and I was in the garden, sitting on my reclined chair 
I've got this really quite a cool garden chair, but it was like a recliner. But it was a good one. I, it wasn't just like a rubbish one. I have I've bought rubbish ones before, and actually I bought a, a garden chair for, for here to take downstairs so I could sit in the sun or in the shade rather actually to be fair but and it was hard plastic and I thought this is alright I think it was like £20 or something this will do me and I was going to use it to as for meditation as well well I was in my kitchen sitting in it because my friend I asked my friend to cut my hair and he said yes he said when when you want it cut and I said well I prefer just to do it now you know just to get it done he said yeah all right then but I have to go and get my uh cutting equipment I said okay I said well what am I going to sit in though he said well why don't you sit in a chair that's what most people have been doing for hundreds of years really I said yeah fair enough uh, I thought you know what I'm going to use the plastic chair no particular reason for that just seemed like a good idea although I do have other chairs so what I did is I sat in the chair and then I thought I'm just gonna I'm gonna get up again and wait before he gets back and then I'll because I have to answer the door and you know all that stuff there's no point getting too comfortable and uh, when he came back I opened the door he knocked first I looked to see who it was and then I opened the door and then he came in I closed the door um, I'm not sure what I did with Andre. I might have put him in his cage just to keep him out of the way, or he might have been asleep. Not sure. And I got this chair. I got it from Wilkinson's, I think. And, you know, I knew it wasn't I knew it wasn't something that you'd see in a palace, you know. It wasn't a palatial furniture. I know, I knew that. I also knew that it wasn't an investment. I was never going to get my money back. I was never going to, I was never going to be worth any money. But that wasn't what I was looking for in a little garden chair. All I wanted is to be able to sit in it, read a book and just relax you know and I did and I took it downstairs and the same week some neighbours who also share the garden had bought some well some nice probably quite expensive furniture like chairs and tables for the summer so I'm sitting in the garden with a bunch of people that were just uh, sitting around drinking and talking and I'm sitting there on my chair and they're on the bench and this neighbour, this old bloke comes over and says oh it's okay, you can sit in my chair if you like I said, what are you talking about? he said, you can sit in my chair if you like you don't have to ask permission like being sarcastic and he thought I was sitting in his chair one of his ones and I said this is my chair and he said uh, I, I can't forget what I forget what he said then and I, was, I just said look and there was still a label with the price on it and then he said oh and he walked away That's, that's the whole story really nothing else happened there 
Um, and then I kind of didn't want to take it outside anymore. What's funny is her husband came out, and, uh, his wife came out and said to me, you can use the chairs whenever you want anyway. Um, I said thanks, because I told him what he'd said. I told her what he'd said. And uh, after that I didn't really take the chair outside much. Just didn't feel right anymore. The the excitement had gone, you know? You know that build up of excitement of sitting in a plastic chair in the garden. That the build up was big and then suddenly it just it's like the energy was like sucked out of it. So I left it upstairs. Uh, sometimes I'd sit in it and meditate. Other times I'd leave it in the storage room to do its own thing. I was going to say to levitate, but that would be silly because it, it didn't. It just, well, gravity, you know. And so I thought, because my friend was saying, oh, you need to sit in a chair. I thought, you know what? Why don't I sit in the chair that I don't use anymore? Because that would be ideal for this situation. So I got it, took it out from the cupboard. I walked down the hallway to where the kitchen is. So the kitchen is directly ahead. The bedroom's on the left, and then there's the bathroom on the right, the living room on the left, and then the kitchen straight ahead. So I went in, I sat down on the you know, I put the chair down on the floor with the the back was to the window and the front was it wasn't facing towards the door but I could see the door to the kitchen because so I was in the kitchen so I could see the entrance and the exit and My friend was there, he was cutting my hair. Um, you know, he was just having a little bit of a chat. He sort of asked me if he want anything for the weekend. I said, uh, yeah, I could do with some, do with some, uh, like the newspaper TV listings. So I know what's on TV and maybe a couple of bars of chocolate or something like that. And he started laughing. I started laughing because, you know, I really know what's going on. And so he's cutting my hair and then he goes to the front of me and he's, I think he's saying, can you lean back so that he, he could... I don't know, trim my eyebrows, I, no, I didn't, but it's for some reason, and and the whole of the chair collapsed, the back two legs of the chair snapped, and I fell backwards, luckily, I ended up, I ended up on the floor, but I didn't, hurt myself I didn't I didn't bash my head on anything so it was very lucky actually and then what I did is I got a chair that was well this is the thing is these chairs I've got two chairs which or was it three two I think and they came with the table which my nan used to have, and I inherited it. So there's a table with two chairs. And when I moved here, one of the chairs
well, I basically gave way. I sat in it and it just crumbled underneath me. And you may say, well, actually there's a bit of a pattern here. And I'll say to you, just mind your own business. And I didn't know what to do about it because, you know, it's like, oh, I don't want to chuck them out because they were my nan's chairs. I want to keep them forever, uh, including the table. I'm, wherever I move, those tables and chairs are coming with me. And I was going to say, even if I have to carry them on my back, but I can't carry them on my back. If that was the only option, then I'd leave them. You know, they just just would, and it? it's just, but it means something to me. And my dad actually took the chairs away, and he reinforced them after he stopped laughing. I think, but it's like, how can you? How can a chair? A, I don't think I've ever sat in a chair that's just crumbled underneath me. I'm not that heavy. A hundred kilos isn't that heavy. You know, it's... If I was 30 stone, then I would have to be careful what kind of chairs I sat in because some chairs wouldn't be able to support my weight. I'm not 30 stone. I'm half that. So surely the... I don't know. I think sometimes though, because I use the table at... I use the chair at the table, and I think sometimes maybe I... I go to push the chair back and maybe... It's not off the floor, so I'm kind of pushing the legs out of itself. So maybe that's what it was. It was out of balance, and my even my small amount of weight was enough to disintegrate the chair. It was like a ray gun. Oh, that bloke that did the squirrel, he's now rubbing his back. Oh, they're advertising something else now. It's the same people, though. It's called an easy sitter. You know what, I want one of them. I can't believe someone just sat up and there was an egg. They're sitting on eggs. You won't believe this. They actually got these easy sitters, they're putting an egg on the top of it and then customers are sitting down. On, on on the egg and then they, they stand up the egg's still intact and then someone grabs the egg breaks it into a bowl to prove that it's a real egg why would you sit in an egg these easy sitters look good that's what I need because I've got Oh, it's so funny. They just showed uh, some people at a football game and one of them was sitting in an easy sitter. Like, and this is a blue thing. And he's all happy. And then just in front of him to the left, there was another one and he and the bloke was rubbing the back of his back and his lower back. <laughs> oh, dear. They've still got an egg on it. They, they, they're obsessed with that egg. Seriously, if you didn't know, just by watching it, be, I would think, why have they got an egg on the on the chair? I wonder if people buy it and then they phone up and they complain and say, where's the egg? Perhaps I've got it on a packaging that does not include egg. I'd be so happy. I would actually, if it comes up anywhere on there saying, does not include egg, I'll be made up. That will 
that would be the funniest thing. Oh, I'm looking for it now. And now someone else is sitting on an egg. Oh, it's called egg sitter, not easy sitter. Did I say easy sitter? Egg sitter. That's why I got the egg. What if you didn't have any trousers or pants or anything on? I'm just wondering if it's a magic trick. You know, it's like it's not a real egg. But they managed to swap it and like break it as in with the yolk. The thing is, I've got. This is something that I'm gonna look into maybe buying. I know I'm making fun of it, but I need. Eighty-eight percent of fifty users say that it provides eight hours worth of relief. 88% of 50 users. It's not a lot of people, is it? jmldirect.com Egg sitter. And now he's, he's jumping up and down on it. Waving his hands around. And he's pulling it apart. It looks like slime. That's what it looks like. It looks like slime. Now he's rolling it up. And again, they're showing a bloke the base of the football. And they're showing two people in church sitting on it. There's a woman with a, oh, one with a cat, and a woman doing sewing, all sitting on it. Egg sitter support cushion. Brilliant idea, really. What a catchy thing, though. Did I call it easy sitter? That's what I must have been seeing in my head. Oh, there's a woman there now. She's. But her posture wasn't very good, though. Oh, she's happy. I've never seen someone who looks so happy sitting down. She sat down. It was like, oh yeah. Another man. He just sat down. There's like big smile on his face once he sat down on it. And there's a man in a supermarket mall with a microphone asking people to sit down. Before you do, look. He did say sit. She was about to sit down. He said stop, and then he put an egg, he put it, he put an egg on it, and she sat on it. She looks like she doesn't want to get up. Now she's she's. You wouldn't want to eat the egg after that, though, would you? After you know where it's been. Now her husband's saying no. He's saying, go on, you can sit on the egg now. No, don't want to. He's refusing. Oh no, he's going to do it now. But he sat down hard on it. He didn't sit gentle. He actually, like, fell on the thing. I'd be surprised if it's not broken. Oh, it's not. I, I was trying to lip read there, but I'm sure he said, now that's a strong egg. And the bloke was the bloke with the microphone saying it's not really about the egg though. It's uh, it's about it's about the cushion. <laughs> and the bloke said, I don't care about the cushion. Where, where, where can I get where can I get one of those things? <laughs> Sorry. I should laugh. <laughs> now that That's an egg. <laughs> Just showed up like writing a letter, and he leant back on his and he was on his cushion thing, and he was like waving his arms around in happiness. Wow. They're really trying to damage that egg and they can't. I 
I'm not sure about the colour though. Being blue. It can't really. Oh, they're showing that man robbing his back again at the football match. And there's a bloke reading a book with a big smile on his face. Seventy-eight percent of fifty users said it last thing for fifty. Oh, it's the features. It supports backside and spine, honeycomb design, rhymes. Uh, what's the next one? Comfortable and supportive. Flexible elastic or material it stays cool to the touch. I bet it gets smelly. Just saying. Uh, bonus non slip cover, yours for only £39.99 plus £2.95 delivery or €49.99. Euros. £39.99. UK you know what I think I want one do you see what I mean about how the thing is 88, 78% of 50 users I want to buy something that's been used by thousands and millions not just 50 people He keeps jumping on it. He keeps folding it up and jumping on it like it's not a trampoline. It's not a naughty child. Just stop stop that. And then they got a bloke in a forklift truck sitting on one. Yeah, like you get away with that without people making fun of you. There's some a lady there was using it to kneel on to support her knees while she was cleaning the bath. So that's useful because I my knees need a bit of support when I'm kneeling down doing things. They look a little bit smug though. I don't. I'd be worried that I turn into. Someone, you know, I'd like, ha <laughs> uh, I'm comfortable, look at me. Well, now there's someone doing the garden. Oh, they've got a big fireplace in the background. Oh, there's a taxi driver saying, yeah, I'd, this is great. A lorry driver now saying, yeah, it's brilliant. Imagine if you're doing driving a lot. You'd, you'd think you'd have a lot of really good seat anyway, wouldn't you? So I used to have a bony bum years ago. I talked about this before. So now, oh look, what are they doing? Now they're stretching it out. This, this just to show it can't be broken. They've stretched it out with a barbell. And now they're letting it go back to its normal shape again. And now it's back to looking like it was. And now the boat's back to the bloke rubbing his back at the football thing. Egg sitter. And now they've got another lady. Go on, can you, do you want to sit on it? Go on, go on, sit on it, go on. Oh, how does it feel? Is it nice? Is it nice? He's now massaging her, ch uh, not her chest, her uh, neck. And she looks, it actually looks, if you didn't know, when I first started watching it, all I saw was the, <laughs> the woman get up and there was an egg on the chair. I thought she'd given, honestly, I thought she'd laid an egg. Egg sitter. And they show a person holding an egg just so you know what, what they're talking about. Oh. Do 
Seems a bit convenient though, isn't it? Because they sit in it, pick it up, and then there's a table with a little glass thing so you can break the egg into it. I want one of those eggs. I think that might be just a ticket for me. I think I could perhaps use the benefit of that for my lower back. I don't, I don't know why the, I'm trying to think, what does it remind me of? There's something it reminds me of. I can't remember. Maybe, you know what it is? I think I might have actually had one of those things in an office I worked in. That's really what it is. So I've had one before. And there's a couple on the beach. The bloke's still right in. He's and there's a lady. She's There's a lady there. She won't get up. This one woman, she's moving around her hips so much, sitting on the chair, like she's trying to get the egg, like she's trying to clench the egg in, and like suck it up or something. Also, she gets up and the egg's gone. I want one. The egg sitter support cushion. And it comes with a cover. For some reason. I suppose if you're going to carry it around. Wow. It's a non-slip cover as well. Because you know covers can be very slippy can't they? <laughs> I don't know. Chairman. Oh, that's the end of that one. I wonder what others they've got. Oh, there's another lower back thing. Oh, it's the same thing. Ah. So now they're doing the black and white to colour bit. The black and white is showing the people that are like rubbing their backs and sitting uncomfortable. And now the colour the colour footage is of people all happy and imagine how weird that would be if you sat up got up from a chair and there was an egg there and some man grabbed the egg and broke it into a little glass glass uh, bowl that's a surreal experience isn't it that's like magic. So that's that's it for me tonight. For some reason I had no idea I was going to talk about adverts. But hey, that's what happened. Uh, Andre's just woken up, so it's good timing on my part. So if you, hopefully you're asleep. And I'll see you speak to you next time.